Now what we did in that last video was we broke a function. Notice how we called add with no arguments. Functions usually have a set number of arguments. Some like print can have variable, right? It could be as many as you want or none, and that's fine. But many functions have a set number of arguments. It's called the arity, or how many arguments does it have? One, two, 50, whatever, right? So you can call functions with nothing and break things. So let me show you what I mean. If we say add a and a b, since we know we're dealing with an add function that does numbers, we're just playing around, and we return at a plus b. When you call, let's say, add with nothing, right? Just literally nothing. It's automatically going to set, if you think in your head behind the scenes, it's going to say a equals nil and b is nil. So that's what's going to ha happen behind the scenes. If I were to go one and two, behind the scenes, it's setting a to one and b to two, okay? So think of it when you get the word nil and you get those kind of errors where it says like, I can't add nil. What it's really saying is that the a and the b here, if we click on, you can't do arithmetic on add, it's saying that a and b are nil and you're going nil plus nil or nothing plus nothing. Now in math, nothing's zero. So you can do zero, but we didn't even pass zero. We literally passed nil. So nil is completely different than the number zero. And you can't really add nothing to nothing. It doesn't make any sense. And so that's what that error really means. And it's the same if we did one. So if we did one and we run it, but we don't pass a, a value for B, it'll also break because it's trying to add a number in nil. See how it says on number in nil? So that means this is one and this is nil. So you can't do that either. And so it's very hard to do this because Roblox Studio helps a little bit. See how it says like add A and a B you're, and B is kind of bolded and you're on B. This little code hint here says, okay, you're on the second parameter and it, it's looking for a B. Now that's just why you name things better. Cause if I said first number, second number, and then I go back to my code and I go one comma, it still says B, but eventually it'll say like second number. So it'll give you a better code hint. So we do two. And now I have a little bit of understanding of what it is. And so we can, First number, second number. Yes, keep it. And so that makes a lot more sense and your code works as expected. And so breaking functions with not sending enough arguments or sending too many arguments, you can get away with that. And that's, those are just ignored because there's no variables here to access them. And even if there were, like you put C, D, E, F, like it doesn't matter because you're not doing anything with it inside your function. So it's okay to send your function too many arguments. It's still going to do its normal thing, but you, you can't send it not enough because if you, if you basically say this is one and this is nil, it's not going to work.